If you're unboxing a shiny or perhaps not so shiny OnePlus 6, there are lots of new things that you want to play with right away. This is one of the most anticipated phones of the year so far, and there's plenty to get stuck into. I'm Alex from Android Central, and these are the first six things you need to do with your new OnePlus 6. Your OnePlus 6 will guide you through setting up face unlock when you first power it on, but a lot of people, including me, prefer good old fashioned fingerprint. Fingerprint unlock is a more secure option, and you'll find it in the security menu. Setup is just as fast as the OnePlus 5T, and the rear mounted sensor is fast and accurate. Like many phones, the OnePlus 6 has an ambient display option, which lets you see certain information even when the display is off. But unlike most, it's disabled by default. To turn it on, go to the display menu and tap through to ambient display. This isn't an always on display feature like the Galaxy S9 has. Instead, you'll see the time, battery levels and notification icons when you lift the phone up or take it out of your pocket. There are four clock styles to choose from, and you can have the screen pulse in the notifications when they arrive. Gestures have long been a part of OnePlus's Oxygen OS, and most of them haven't gone anywhere in the OnePlus 6. You can take a screenshot by swiping on the screen with three fingers, double tap the screen to wake it up, or flip to mute. These aren't enabled by default, so it's worth seeing which ones you might like to use. The OnePlus 6 also gets in on the trend of gesture navigation too. You can hide Android software keys and instead get around by swiping. Swipe up from the left or right side of the screen to go back, swipe in the middle to go home, or swipe and hold for recent apps. Gesture Nav is a little slower than the regular navigation keys, but it's worth trying out. There are some other key shortcuts that you'll find under the buttons menu. You can define shortcuts for a long press or double tap of each key. A couple I find pretty useful are long pressing the recent key to go split screen, and long pressing the back key to bring down the notification shade. One of the defining physical characteristics of the OnePlus 6 is its display notch. Unlike most phones with a notch, you can customise the way it looks. For OnePlus, it's a pretty simple on-off toggle. With the notch enabled, you see a coloured section up top as normal. If it's disabled, you just see your status bar icons on a black background. Personally, I don't mind the notch, but if it bugs you, you can at least make it less conspicuous. As a quick aside, since space in the status bar is now at a premium, you may want to be more selective about the icons that you show up there. The icon manager, under status bar settings, lets you hide things like Volti and NFC, and you can still see the status bar notifications when you bring down the notification shade. The widget shelf has been around for a couple of years, but it's worth reacquainting yourself with it whether or not this is your first OnePlus phone. You can add any Android widget to the shelf, but it'll always be full width. For that reason, it works best with bar-shaped widgets like media players, or full screen widgets like calendar views. You can still resize the height of widgets in the shelf, and widget compatibility has slowly improved, so it's worth trying widgets again even if they didn't work perfectly on an older OnePlus phone. There are a lot of ways you can customise the OnePlus 6's appearance, but let's start with the basics. There are light and dark themes, if you prefer something more pristine or dark and sci-fi looking with a default skin, and you can choose from 8 accent colours to add a personal touch. Next, it's worth playing around with icon packs. There are two included, round and square options made by OnePlus, but the stock launcher can use most icon packs that you'll find on the Google Play Store if you're after a specific look. So those are our top 6 things you need to do when you get your OnePlus 6. Check out our OnePlus 6 review for more on the phone, hit the comments down below and let us know how you're enjoying it, and subscribe so you don't miss our future coverage. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.